Yeah, I do think a good poem or good speech is is listened into the world as much as it's spoken. Uh, right. you're, you're trying to speak to the listening ear. I often, well, I used to, I don't have the, I think the image is more unconsciously grounded in my body now, but I did used to years ago. Um, when I was writing, I would imagine myself whispering into a loved one's ear. Uh in a very, very low voice, what needed to be said. And it's that kind of close in whispering, uh, which is uh, enchanting you um, into and engendering you into uh, into new understandings. Yeah. So uh, in a way, it's, uh, it's being, it's like being a, a good parent to your future self, parenting uh, the self who's going to live out the days to come in a way. Uh, you are big enough, uh, you are large enough you know, to actually meet uh, the heartbreak uh, that is your path. And uh, we spend a lot of time as human beings, of course, looking for the path where we won't have our heart broken. But <laughs> 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 every path that has any sincerity to it will break your heart. Yeah. You know? You're it you're following you're doing a lot of heartbreaking work. Yeah. You know? And the moment you close yourself off from that heartbreak is the moment you stop being actually useful and gifted to other people. You know? The only way we can stop having our heart broken is to decide not to care. Yeah. You know? And of course, that has enormous repercussions on our system because it's only the surface of you that can decide not to care because the inner part of you can't stop caring, but it meets this wall on the outside, yeah? or it meets an argument, or it meets reluctance. Yeah? And, uh, and so you, our only choice really is to have our heart broken around a path that we really care about. Uh, yeah, don't get your heart broken around someone else's path, you know, someone else's work. You know? uh, break your heart on something that you care about. And most of us care about other human beings. Uh, so uh, they're there all the time. You know? So the people we choose, yeah. Uh, the work that leads us to the right kind of people and to helping in the right kind of way we want to help. So this is a uh, this is a constant kind of it's like a musical instrument we're learning how to pr play, you know? and uh, there's never an end to the to the. I mean, I always think you know, with a good musician, a good musician gets simpler and simpler as the decades go by, and uh, in their approach to music, and. Uh, I think it's the same thing for a human being, you know, with our vocation and our work and and our way of being is that there's a there's a necessity for simplicity. And I think, you know, given the given the difficulties of our times with our massive consumption of resources, um we're all contributing to global warming, not not just large industries, you know, in the oil industry. We all drive cars, we all we all uh, use an enormous amount of, of energy and packaging and and uh, doorway into the future is through simplicity, actually, and mm. through a joyous simplicity, not not a puritanical simplicity, but through learning 